Now that Tesla officially launched its $35,000 Model 3 version, the question is, can they be profitable? Can they make profit um, on uh, this extremely affordable and really cheap uh, but awesome electric car? I, I, I think I have an answer from probably the best person to ask, Sandy Munro, who is the CEO of Munro & Associates. You probably know him from a couple of uh, Model 3 teardowns that he has done, but he is an industry veteran who basically does this for a living. And he has a very good idea of what the profit margin on Tesla Model 3 might be moving forward. I uh, will feature that uh, in just a second and give you some of my thoughts. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. And if you want to stay up to date on those news, all you have to do really is click on that subscribe button and that way you will become a part of this community as well. All right, as you guys know, I had uh, Sandy Munro on my show for a pretty long interview, about 40 minutes, and um, you can see it on my channel. But there's one particular part that I kind of wanted to concentrate and talk about um, uh, right now, which kind of... Uh, talked about, and you know, the, the timing could not be more perfect, about uh, what profit margins could be on the Model 3, the the, the $35,000 standard battery uh, version, because, you know, um, you know, the stock market freaked out a little bit today, uh, the day after the announcement, because, you know, uh, apparently they don't believe that the Tesla is going to be making any money, at least not yet on it, um, even though they've been, you know, blaming Tesla for not releasing that version, uh, and, and uh, now they're unhappy that it's here. <laughs> so, but, you know, it is a legitimate question about, you know, can you really uh, uh, make money? Can Tesla really make money on the $35,000 version, at least right now or in the next year or two? And just like I said, I think I have a pretty good answer. So before I go to that part of the interview uh, that I'm going to show you right now, let me remind you that this uh, video and this channel is sponsored by Evanex. The aftermarket accessories, including uh, the standard version of Model 3, there is a discount code in the description of this video. So go ahead and grab it. And that way you can save yourselves a few bucks. All right. So... Um, Without further ado, let me play that segment where uh, Sandy is talking about uh, how Tesla Model 3 can be pretty profitable, especially if it's made in China. Here it is. Um, we've already said that Tesla makes money, could make money on a $35,000 car if they built it in the U.S. But um, we just completed a second study. Um, a lot of our customers wanted to know what uh what's the cost of the tesla if it's built in um, in china and uh that car is quite a bit cheaper uh to build same level of quality same parts same everything except that it's been uh, decontented you're not going to get all of the fancy stuff uh all all the premium materials if you buy a thirty-five thousand dollar car and uh and that's kind of what we've calculated out and that number is quite uh quite appealing that the number that we've calculated out shows that um that uh, the tesla if it's manufactured in china for a thirty-five thousand dollars sale um is quite profitable so they are i think quite profitable here in the u.s with the expensive versions of the uh, model three I believe that they're going to be very, very profitable in China with the Model 3, no matter what level they sell at, whether it's the expensive ones or the cheap ones. What do you and think the margin is going to be if, uh, when they're producing it in China for the Model 3? It depends on what the level of trim is. So The, um, the, the 35,000 all elusive version. Yeah, well... That's uh, looking like about uh, 25%, between okay. 20 and 25%. All right. Well, uh, this was an exclusive from Sandy, and I appreciate him uh, uh, giving all of us this information. Um, this is kind of mind-blowing. And, 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 you know, him saying that uh, basically what he recommends from what I understood, that, you know, the, the cheaper version should be made um, only 
in uh, China and then be imported here in the United States, obviously assuming that nothing bad happens with it with, with tariffs. And the more expensive ones should be made here um, in California, though, again, the tariffs could be um, a, a problem. So let's break that news and prediction down into positives and negatives. All right, so the positive is obviously, you know, making a 25% margin on a stripped down uh, a $35,000 version, which is literally a bargain, if you ask me, um, is obviously just a breakthrough. And I was shocked to hear it. Um, now, the, 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 yeah, and and, and it, it, it's not only good for um, you know the people to have the, the, the cheaper version, but it's good for investors and a company because if they can really achieve that, then on one hand, they can definitely figure out how they can leverage you know a couple of factories now that they have where they can make a Model 3. Um, don't forget Model Y is coming as well. And so this is a good sign for that car as well. But I think for me, it's also a proof that it's possible, right? The uh, legacy manufacturers, as much as I really like what they've been doing, especially this year and what's coming up in the next 12 months, you know, all of them are saying, listen, we're, we're making these cars, but we're, we're losing money. Uh, and that's why we don't want to make too many of them. Uh, especially, you know, Chevy complained that they're losing up to $8,000 per each one. And of course, as, um, as Sandy mentioned, uh, and again, you can watch the entire 40 minute interview on my channel um, in my library. He basically mentioned that, listen, they don't want to make more, more of those and therefore it costs them much more to make less of them. And, and it's kind of a catch 22. But this, this news proves that it's possible. So just like with everything else, Tesla is pushing the rest of the legacy and startup uh, car manufacturers to go ahead and get their crap together because not only they can't complain now uh, that they can't um, you know, make this car to be profitable, but now they have to because they're gonna have to compete with Model 3 that's been kind of taken over every single possible you know, sector and category um, that they competed in. Um, so that's absolutely a, a positive for me, um, uh, hands down. Uh, okay, let's talk about some negatives. I don't see that many negatives. If anything, it's timing, right? Uh, you know, if, if it's if it's going to take a year to start making a Model 3 at the Chinese factory in Shanghai um, and at a 25% margin, the question is, well, what can the margin, what the margin would be and is right now? Obviously, it's much less. It will be much less uh, in the in the, in the Freeman factory even in a year. Uh, but what is it right now? I mean, are they really making it at no profit? Is it five percent profit? If it is. Is it enough for you know Wall Street and investors to be happy with a profit margin? Um, and you know offering this car obviously you know earlier than a lot of people expected. Does that mean people who were going to buy a more expensive version are now going to switch to this one and um, essentially make less profits for the company? So all of these are kind of questions up 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 in the air. But just like I said, these are like really really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. I think uh, this news is definitely uh, a positive news for Tesla, the investors, and, and kind of approving the namesay namesayers uh, are wrong and pushing the rest of the industry into this. Curious to know, what do you guys think about this? Do you think um, uh, do you think this is this is possible? And uh, and if so, do you think this is enough? Do you think 25% margin on a car like this is enough or, or investors will want more? Um, I mean, they usually do, but I, I, within the reason, right? Uh, by the way, I want to uh, give a quick shout out to one of my newer Patreons. Uh, Eden McCarty, thank you so much for um, joining my Patreon community and uh, contributing to the success of this independent channel. If you want to join yourself, and this is the only place where you can watch me live, Go right here, patreon.com slash e4electric. Don't worry, this link is also in the description of this video. Uh, go ahead and uh, uh, grab it if you want to support my channel. And thank you guys for, for basically making this channel possible. All right, I'm looking forward to your comments. And of course, I'm looking forward to having Sandy over uh, in another few months with a more uh, interesting information. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.